my channel. So today I'm going to show you guys how I got this beautiful red color with no bleach, which is absolutely perfect for fall. So I actually won this hair from Extend Your Styles Boutique located in the Chicago, Illinois area. I was so happy when I won this hair because I just knew what I was getting ready to do. So thank you so much to Sheena and the team at Extend Your Styles Boutique. I was gifted two bundles of hair. They're in 1B color. They're their body wave and they're in the, the length 18 and 16. Yep. 18 and 16 inches absolutely beautiful beautiful hair the one thing that I really noticed about this hair right off the bat was the texture it is absolutely absolutely beautiful it's a natural wave it's a beautiful 1b color it was just absolutely perfect and look at those ends you guys it was thick all the way to the ends oh just absolutely gorgeous hair And another thing I want to note about this hair is that the wefts are so, so long. You get so much hair for your bundles. Usually for a full wig, you would need three bundles at least. But with this, you only need two because they are absolutely so, so thick. And here's the card so you guys can see. Check them out. Check them out. Extend Your Styles Boutique in the Illinois area. So, down to business. What we're going to be using today is the L'Oreal High Color and L'Oreal Highlight. I got the color Fiery Red in addition to Magenta. And this is what the product looks like up close. We're going to be using our 30 volume developer. And of course, the tools of the trade, I went ahead and got this bowl, this mixing bowl, and brush from Sally's. So the process to getting this color is absolutely, positively simple. You mix the color together with the 30-volume developer. And then get to putting it on the hair. I will note that I had to double process my hair. The process that we're going to go through, I went through first with the fiery red color and then wash the hair and all that good stuff and then I process this again in the L'Oreal High Color Highlights in Magenta. So there are two different things, the L'Oreal High Color which is just a normal lifting color and the Highlights which just gives you a little more oomph, the Magenta is what's really going to give you that beautiful deep burgundy red that we all know and love for fall. So enough of me talking, go ahead and watch the video. ensuring that you are raking the color all the way through the hair so what I did was went ahead and take a regular old comb and in addition to painting the color on I also raked it through with the comb as well on both sides multiple times flipping over the west as needed I left about a half inch of brown at the very top of the west and the rest of the hair was totally colored through after that you're going to go ahead and wrap up your hair in the foil, let it sit overnight, and then the next day go ahead and wash it out. Super, super, super easy. You guys will notice that when you're first rinsing out the color, you're going to notice that it's not as bright as you want it to be. But that's why we go in the second processing after this particular hair has dried with the L'Oreal High Color Highlights in Magenta to give it that really bold color. So this is what the hair looks like. Freshly washed, you can see that the red is popping up through. It's looking beautiful. And once we blow dry, you're going to even see the color even better. So pretty. 
Mm, mm, mm. Red hair, red hair. We got red hair. We got red hair. Mm, mm. We got red hair. Ow. <laughs> and this is the final result. This is again the L'Oreal High Color Fiery Red and L'Oreal High Color Highlights in Magenta. Love it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more. Bye. Ten over ten, she know it. I know no how she dey manage. The African thing, she dey roll it. Fine face like Genevieve. Anything you want, I go be. I be right here, I don't leave. All my love, girl, me. She give me African ways like T.Y. Ah, she won't give me that. I'm in love to the next